YouTube Hacker 7 here. So have you ever wanted to install an application on your Android device and it's saying app not installed or you're getting the app not installed error? Well in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix this error. I'll be showing you guys three ways in which you could go about fixing this error. So the first step would be to do this from your settings. Now this is an updated video. I already have a video on this topic but I did not talk in that video so this one i'll explain what i'm doing so what you need to do is to go to your settings apps and notifications now some of you might not have this menu apps and notifications however you need to find the option that says all apps or applications and then you need to tap into that then you need to tap on a list of applications or app info now this will generate the list of applications now from here what you need to do next is to click on show system apps now by showing system apps, this will allow you to see all the applications which are installed in the root of your system. So let's scroll down. What you need to look for from here is package installer. So once you find package installer, okay, so it's right here as you can see, package installer. So what you need to do next is to click on four stop, click on okay. Then you need to click on storage, clear cache, clear data okay so after you've completed this step what you need to do is to try and install the application which you were having issues with so if you've well if you've tried to install the application and you're still having issues here is something else which you could do now you could launch the google play store now you could tap on your profile icon tap on play protect now play protect basically scans applications to find any intrusions that might be present for your android device so this is basically a way of protecting your android device from any malicious attacks however this method also scans the applications and if they aren't signed by google play store or play protect then you will have installation issues well most of the times so what you need to do from here is to simply tap on the settings toggle and turn off scan apps with play protect now after you've done this what you need to do is you could simply reboot your device or you could try installing the application if it does not work i would recommend that you reboot your device and try to install the application once more now if all of that fails if you've cleared the package installer you've disabled google play protect now the final step for which you could do is to simply go to your browser now from your browser, this is where you'd, well, the important step would come about. Now you'd need to know which device you're running or the exact model of Android which you're running. So you, how you could do this is to go into settings again. Now general, you'd need to scroll all the way down until you find about phone. Now from about phone, this is where you'd see the software info. Now my phone is running Android version 8.0. So let's go back to Google Chrome. So once you've identified the operating system or the OS version of your phone, you'd go back to Google and let's search for whatever we were searching for. So whichever app you were installing, let's say Minecraft. So Minecraft Pocket Edition Android 8.0.0 Latest APK download and let's click on search now from here you'd be able to get various websites which will show you the application which you'd want to download and as you can see these are for android 8.0 so and also it will link you back to the google play store in some instances so feel free to give this a try guys the first step would be to clear the package installer then try to install the application if that does not work you would need to go to google play store and disable play protect if that does not work well you should restart your phone after you've disabled the google play protect if that does not work the final step would be to install a compatible version of the application on your android device now some applications are simply not compatible with some devices so you might do all of these steps and the application will still not install on your android device that just means that the application is not compatible with your device so these methods work if the application is compatible 
However, if there is an application which is simply not compatible with your Android device, then this method or these methods will not be able to solve your issues. So once again, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I hope I was able to explain what would happen or explain why some applications aren't installing on your Android device. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and let me know in the comments if this worked for you. So Hakushi Pro 7 out.